Go to the tool panel in Illustrator and select Rectangle Tool, or Shapes, Circles, etc. And create a design there. Now, AG Splatter Panel, you can see there, you can find that in Window Menu, and down to Astute Graphics and AG Splatter. Now, I'm not certain why it's just not called Splatter, but AG Splatter it is in this. So what does it do? Well, it creates a nice splattering design. Now, you can't vary the splatter particularly a vast amount. You can change the shape to a degree. But let's just quickly apply it. So first, just go down here, apply AG Splatter. That's all you need to do. So click it, and you can see the, well, the current settings. And you can create, obviously, a very nice frame design very quickly using this approach. But you can see the design, the shapes, here, you've got here shape, and I'm just going to vary it. So I'm just going to just drag that down, and it becomes sort of more like rounded, a blob sort of design. Oh, you can go the other way. So you can put it maybe in the middle, so it's an in-between. Also, you've got here, you've got an option here. So if I put here 50, and you can see it will vary. It curved to actually very little change in this design. Maybe, obviously, different designs will... Modify. However, what you can do, you've got here angle, and you can see you've got angle. You can vary these. You can got number of settings, so you can just have it just going straight out like that. Again, very nice for a frame design. And there's all of these have got this sort of setting. Unfortunately, there's a limited selection. Be nice to actually have maybe a little uh, sort of profile editor where you could tweak it for your because you've got these profiles. But it, obviously, it'd be nice to have a few more. Always nice to have a few more. And again, you can run through those and you can see it results in different things. And of course, you can change different angles. So you can make it just run along the side like that. And again, just go to different ones. And in obviously some cases, it doesn't really have any effect when it's a low value. But you've got spread here. So you can spread it out. You can see as I change the spread value. Now, unfortunately, you can only put it up to 100. There's no 200 spread. But also you've got here, throw setting. So let's put uh, 100, and that's 100 pixels. So you can see, then it splatters out even further. Actually start to look more like a standard splatter. And again, you can vary obviously the shape, so you can get it more like blobs and dots, which again, maybe you might think, or you can go for more the sharp splatter of very rapid design like that. Now you can see also, you've got a density setting. Now you can reduce it down, obviously reduce it down to about 2% and you can hardly see anything at all. Put it to 160, 140. I'm not exactly certain the density, what 260% means. Anyway, but you can set it to about that sort of thing, 2000, and you get quite a dramatic effect around that. You can see it really concentrates around that those edges. It just sort of splatters off from it as if the water or whatever's paint is splattering off. But again, you can vary this, the density setting. So you can go here for a more average and you can see that creates quite a dramatic change. And also click here, another sort of dramatic, obviously distribution, because you can see the distribution is not so great here, but it's a lot more concentrated here. So that's obviously that diamond design. And again, you can vary it that way and you can see it sort of slightly emptier there. So it's quite a nice way of doing that. And you've got averaging as well. And it, very subtle differences in some cases. Also, you've got seed. So you can just, obviously, if you decide, you know what, just click there and just try it. You might get one that you think, yep, I love that. That's just brilliant. I'm going to go with that. Also, you've got here positioning, which doesn't seem like it does much, but above original. So you can see what happens. You've got above original. It's just on top of the path. Replace original, and you get rid of it which is fine. You can, of course, get rid of it anyway later if you wanted to, you can remove it. But it does mean that you've got the, in a sense, the path that it follows, but not the actual design. Also, below original. So you've got the original again, but it all seems to be happening beneath and you've obviously got the original not covered at all. I think personally, in between, it's a pity there's no opacity sort of feature where you can all sort of like, blend it, or maybe have some below, some above, whatever. Or maybe two different colors. Because at this point, you've only got specify colors. And I'm just gonna say specify color. And you can change that. And it, I can see opacity here, so you can change opacity. So you can go, say, blue, click there, and you get a blue design. 
And of course, what you can do, you got here, specify opacity. So you can turn around and say, oh, you know what? I want it to be 50%. So you can see then you actually get a more, actually quite an interesting sort of covering of paint splatter, where it's sort of, you can see through it, transparency. No blending modes, as far as I can see, or specify both. So you can have it in between blue as well as the opacity, which is nice. And again, you've got seed, and of course it's applying it so you, it's obviously disabled at that point. So it's just automatically doing it now. Now there's a few options along here. You can detach all or remove. So if you want to at this point, you can say detach. And you can see what happens. It's detached it and you've got all these various, and this is what it's made up of. You can see it's made up of lots of individual paths, which you can then select. You can go down here and select the individual path if you want to do that. You can see they're just individual standard paths you can modify. You can also, of course, select that and remove it. But also you can always go and select all of them. So all of these designs are selected now. And if you've got Randomino, which is, you of course would have if you've got all the astute graphics packages, please check out their website. Brilliant website, lots of information. You can also, of course, use that. And you can find that in the window menu. Astute graphics and go down here to Randomino. Now Randomino, I think is a really good tool used with a lot of these things. And Ignore grouping. Sometimes these things have groupings. This does not look like it's got groupings in the layers. So you can just randomize and you can see what happens. So if you randomize, and I'm just gonna go the full range, set all the range there, hue, color, everything's set there, and you can randomize. And of course, because it's got opacity, you can always go and fix that. You can always turn around and say, well, I don't really want 50%, I want 100%. So you can see the design. And you can, of course, run through this range. And of course, if you want, say, more reds, you can change the range to be this or that. You can just say, oh, I want that sort of color scheme or whatever. So you can run through a lot of different variations in this range. However, of course, another thing you can do, they just pass, you can duplicate this. Hold down the Ultra Option key. Let's just duplicate that again. Hold down the Ultra Option key and you can see there. And of course, you can then turn around and say, well, I want it rotated. So you can create splatters like that maybe create your own variations of this. You could even, and I'm not gonna try it because it probably put a lot of pressure on it, repeat and radial. So it would create a radial effect using this. It's, that's another possibility as well. So you've got this design. Now I'm just gonna quickly select all and I'm just gonna delete it because I'm just gonna go with another design. So let's just quickly go, just to quickly show you with other things as well. So maybe go with an ellipse. So you've got ellipse there, and again, not going to use Randomino, but I just want to show you Randomino with that. And again, apply splatter. And you can see the splatter applied there. And again, you can vary it. So I'm just going to go with specify color. Got the blue. I can change it. Go maybe. It is a pity that there is no random color feature within this. It would be really nice if you could randomize the color. That option doesn't seem available. And again, you can always specify opacity. I don't want... 50%, I want it back to 100%. But you could obviously change it in a variety of different ways. And again, you can just change that and you can see the effect of this. And also you can modify these things above, below, and also specify color. And you can see then I've got obviously, you can create a vast number of things. And again, the density, if you put it too high, it does actually become it does warn as well. It says there's a lot of paths. It's a lot of paths. You can see it creates a lot. Now, it's a live effect as well. So you can see here, it's over here. So you go to the window menu and appearance. So you've got AG splatter. So you can always, at any point, bring this up again. So you just obviously bring the patch there. <laughs> it's already there, so you can change it. So it's, but it is live, so you can come back to any point. You can always decide, you know what, let's go and do some other work. And you think, oh no, that's not right anymore. You can change it. You can just go back to it, click on there again, and you can start editing. And again, reseed it, change things, shape, you know, and create a whole range. Of, and again, you've got all these settings. Throw, which you can splatter it out even further, spread, or maybe reduce that. And you can see the result then. It just curls. I think it's a real quite nice effect. It's a real quite, but it's unfortunately, it's limited to a certain type of shape. It would be really, unless, please put in the comments below, maybe you can select a shape and use that instead of that design. It's quite possible. 
but I don't think that seems to be available. However, what you can also do is you can use it with type as well. So you just go here to type, and I'm just going to create type. The word type, I always go with the word type. It's nothing better than the word type. It's live. So what you can do, it's a live effect. All these are live. And again, apply this, and you can apply it to that, and you can see the splatter result there. Possibly because of the way it's done, it's probably best to avoid having it too high density. Unless you go for the high density when you, you feel reasonably satisfied with the result you're getting. Above original, again, you've got here replace original, so you can always replace it. Obviously there, you can just about make out type if you look at it carefully. But above original, and you can see the effect there. Again, I would love to see it randomised. And again, spread, angle, all these things can be changed and you can modify the settings here with these as well. So type can be used and probably many other designs can be used as well. So I think it's just a really, and of course you can always resize, it's live, so you can always resize things, maybe apply other effects as well. So you can always go to effects, maybe say, you know what, I want blurring effects or maybe stylized drop shadow, combine it. You've got drop shadow then with your splatter effect. Click OK. Obviously, that's going to slow things down, but you can see the result of that. You can just change that still. It's still live, and you can still create some very interesting drop shadow splatters, as well as, of course, you can go with bevels and many, many other things. And you've got other things like transform. I am not going to make multiple copies of this because it creates even more pass. And you also you've got 3D. I'm not going to try that. I imagine it could do it. It'd be really interesting to see splatter with 3D. Might do a separate video on that one. So you can see a variety of different designs with this AG splatter. So really worth checking out the demo on the Astute Graphics website of how to use this. Got lots of functionality that you can, of course, use. And once you're happy with everything, of course, again, you can always go detach or remove. So I'm just going to go with detach. So it's all just done, reduced. Now, of course, what's happened? It's lost that effect. So you might not want to do it that way. Maybe undo and go to object and expand appearance. Yes, that's a better result. Does actually still keep the uh, thing. And you've got this uh, lovely, uh, you could maybe create snow effects. It looks like sort of snow, and obviously pink snow, but snow all the, the same, on type or anything else. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.